Hello everybody and welcome back to my time at Sandrock where today I need to prepare for my birthday because my birthday's coming up in three days and I don't have a banquet table but I believe I have enough space in my yard to get one. Yes I do. So let me once this loads in. I'm going to have a quick look at uh, my missions before I go because it's been a, while, a little while since I last recorded and I just want to make sure if any of them have a Okay, well because I want to get my birthday and everything sorted um, I think I'm going to work on the commissions I've got, the gift boxes, and getting a banquet table. So let's do it that way. So we've got 10 paper. Let's see how many gift boxes I can make out of that. One. Huh. Well, I'll make that one. We need five. I feel like a second drying rack might be a good uh, build at this point. Let's see. No, I can't do it because I don't have a bronze frame. Because I don't have any of the stuff. Because blah, 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 blah. Alright then, let's go and have a... I'll look and see if I can make a bronze frame or two. I can make two bronze frames. Lovely. That means I can finish this one at least. But I don't have enough bronze pipes. Oh, that's about right, isn't it? So I'm going to need four bronze pipes. I can make two at the moment. So, sadly, that's going to be all sort of slightly delayed. So while that's all happening... I might put another couple of furnaces worth of bronze bars on as well. Why not? Well, that's all happening. Why don't we go and hand some commissions in? I just want to like have a little bit... I know that once I put this train station stuff down, it's going to move the main quest along. I want more time to like get to be friends with people and give people presents and all that sort of thing. And do some side quests and stuff a little bit just before I move that main quest along. So I'm going to acquire Melon Moose. I'm going to acquire a from Ryan a stool. And the research center have finished my chef's cooking station. Wonderful. Okay, let's have a look at these commissions. Oh, one second. It's saying one out of one, but is that mine? Oh, it probably is. I'm going to have to be careful on this one that I don't hand in my own sword and shield. <laughs> Done that before. Um, so I need two copper screws. And I can go and hand in the coffee, I think, then. Is there anything else that I can make? So we're trying to make the stuff for the civil furnaces, and they're being a bit slow. Um, meaning I can't take any other commissions at the moment. If I could get one done, I could just take one from the ground. I'm not using all of them at the moment, am I? So I could take one of mine. Oh, I am, actually. <laughs> Maybe it's not the best idea, then. Although, if one of them comes out perfect, I might swap it over. <laughs> get her the rubbish ones. <laughs> They're nice like that. Yeah. I'm an awesome person. So yeah, we're still making the stuff. So we're making the stuff for that. Making the stuff for that. Got those. Uh, okay, switchboards. Switchboards next, I think, then. all doing very well very happy with my little farm at the moment need to plant a few more things in it but we can do that a bit later 
there. So I'm going to head up to the moisture farm and I'm going to go and give Zeke his coffee. Or some of the other bits and pieces for... Oh, you know what I'll do in the meantime? I th uh, ah, no. Changing my mind. I changed my mind. I apologise. Changed my mind. Switchboards. Ah, right. So I need copper wire. And I need so eight of those and I need one simple set. Okay. I'll put the copper wire in behind the copper screws and then we're going to go and beat up that robot that sits by the junkyard and then we're going to the moisture farm on the way that melon moose can go to pebbles Pebbles is my buddy. He's gonna eat the wormies home. A magical ghost is taking apart your robot, Rocky. But that's the final simple circuit I need. So just waiting for the copper, uh, the copper wires at this point. So then let's head over to the moisture farm. So now I think the only non-buddy person, the only sort of associate or a stranger or whatever they call them is it a, a, I forget what it is it's like associate but I think there was one at one star as well if you're under one star you're like a acquaintance or something There's something going on over here. Let us go see what that is before we go to Moish Farm, shall we? Oh, hi! Got a new artifact to donate or just here for a bit of culture? You seem looking great. Definitely an improvement, thanks to you. I still need to put some finishing touches on it. But I love how it turned out. Oh, hi. Got a new artifact to donate or just here for a bit of culture? It's watch the well, movie. Well, there are plenty of seats waiting. I wish more people would come to watch it. Oh, hi. Got a new artifact. Are you sure, okay? sure. I'll be fine. I'm just having a rough week is all. Oh, so now we're getting down to the nitty gritty. So what's going on? What's happened this week? My son's birthday is coming up soon. Oh. And I'm missing him something fierce. It's hard not being there for so many milestones and important dates, you know? Yeah, that must be awful. Did I ever show you what he looks like? This is the picture Ma sent me a few weeks ago. Isn't he handsome? Looks a lot like my pa. Ma says he started his own business, selling his classmates snacks he made at home. I wonder if he could ever come to Sandrock. Like, if it was good enough to have, like, a university or something. They said that at one time it was gonna have a university, but then everything fell apart. I'm Got sure they head did. for business that one, just like his ma, or maybe not just like me. Most days, I know I made the right choice coming here to build us a better life, but it's taken so long. On days like today, I feel like the worst mother ever. Every birthday I miss is a year of my boy's life I'll never get back, and this year. Every goal I had went into expanding the business. There's nothing left to buy him a gift. I think I want to build him something, if I can. That would be amazing. Are you sure you don't mind? It would have to be on the train soon to get to him on time. I could help. Really? Oh, thank you. You're the best. What would I do without you? I've been thinking about what to give him. Ma said in her last letter that Aloe's become obsessed with trains. Last year, it was Yakmel Ranching. Now he wants to be a conductor. Jensen collects models of trains. Oh. Maybe he has some recipes he can share with us. Allo would love a model train. Oh, is he going to get Jensen to help us make a model train? All right, let's do this. I'll ask Jensen and see if he'll lend me a recipe. I'll let you know as soon as I've got anything. 
Victoria has a lot of cool storylines, actually. I really do enjoy that. Right then, to the moisture farm was the next thing. And we're at the moment just waiting. Just gonna hand in the commission to Jen, uh, sorry, Jensen. Jensen on the brain now to Zeke, and then I can pick up another one. This is the, the easiest one of all of them because it's one that I don't need to, I always do the farming ones ahead of time. Oh. Thank you, this is good. That was really good Zeke relationship points there. How close is Zeke to be? Is he close to a, like a, a change? Change point or is he not? No, he's just had his change point, so I won't worry too much about him at the moment. I'm trying to boost people that are at change points because then their social networks will go up and then hopefully that'll boost other people up to close to being a change point and so on and so forth. But I'm also going to take... A little trip into here because I believe this is where banqueting tables live. Yes. I'm pretty sure in EA I was looking everywhere for them and <laughs> I thought they were in, well, Heidi's in there, so I thought they were in the uh, construction junction, but I seem to remember them being in the game center. So don't forget that, guys. So because I've got three days, if I set the party up now, then I've got ages to- Oh! You know, many the folks can't tell the difference between a TR-43 and a FT-904. <laughs> One time I saw someone confuse an FT-904 for a C-3 Delta. <laughs> C-3 Delta? With those boarding lights? <laughs> Woo! That was a good one. Ha-ha! <laughs> yeah! The Delta! The colors are beautiful, though. Well, I used a muted palette to try and get a realistic finish. The markings on the passenger entry door really distinguish the TR-43. The details make the model. But for a beginner, I'd recommend the RX-428. Jensen knows his train models. Huh? Those two aren't any good? Not any good. The TR-43 and the FT-904 are some of the most beautiful trains to hit the tracks. Function, form, perfect union. But it's a complex kit. I'd say it's probably one of the most difficult assemblies. Sounds like a lot of trouble to put on the builder. <laughs> well, for anyone with some experience building, it's a pleasure. Ah, here's a doozy. The PE-777. Oh, now there's a machine. 1 43rd scale, impeccable detail. Wow, a piece of history, that one. 777. Got it. Unfortunately, her brakes weren't quite up to the task of reining her in. She kept overshooting the stations and had to back up to let folks disembark properly. So, Jensen, this PE-777... Do you have the recipe for it? You, uh, you want to go with the 777? You know, the uh, 779. I think she wants you to shut up talking about train models and pick one. <laughs> no, it's perfect. Aloe's lucky number is seven. He'll just love it. <laughs> well, different spokes for different folks, eh? Here, this is one of my favorites. I'm sure your son will be thrilled with it. That's wonderful. So, um, let me just have a look on the map, but I keep bumping into things. No, see, it's telling me I can hand that into Unsure, and I'm, I keep thinking, oh yeah, I could do, oh, no, don't give in your own sword and shield. I've, I've spent time making that rare, so I do not want to have to, oh look, we've got some more things to harvest at the farm. Is that another piece of Biocross? I think it might be. I think that's another level four. They ne it never goes above level four though, does it? Like when it levels up, it goes exactly to level four. So I don't think it will um, go above that. 
I think the reward is that you get Biocrust. I've got enough now that I could move those three pieces over and plant a chestnut tree. Sure, big, I can get around the horse. And then I'll just uh, plant some more level ones in there. Because I've said that I will basically plant trees onto fully done biocrust just because trees are a little bit annoying. But mind you, one thing I would say, trees t take ages, but you never have to redo the straw grid on them and they will naturally go up to level 4. So that's a thing to think about as well. So it just depends on how you're feeling about things. We've also got this banqueting table we can put down. Luckily there's space for that, just about. This place is getting a bit, a bit cramped, isn't it? Um, I've got a few things as well. That cable stayed bridge. I'll put that somewhere. Somewhere there. Oh, actually, by Doodles' pen might be quite nice. Well, I think I already had one in the, I think I had two. I think I already had one in the uh, museum, so I'll put that one in my house. Right, so now I can plant myself a chestnut tree over here. And then I can give chestnuts to my horse. I don't know if my, my horse even likes chestnuts. My horse is called chestnuts, so I'm hoping that they do. <laughs> there we are, so we've got two tea coffee trees. We've got two chestnut trees. Um, I don't know if it needs watering. Oh no, because when it rained everything got fully watered every part every everything every bit got fully watered so i just need to repair this a little bit once i get some straw which i don't have i never have straw never have straw never ever let's see how we're doing over here then so i've got some copper wire it looks like my bronze pipes are done so i'm hoping that that means i can now finish so that's one civil furnace done. Um, so in between times, what I want to do as well is see if I can make a quick drying rack. So that I can make some more paper for uh, RBO. I've got room for it over here, see. machines I have. I actually have a relic machine um, that I kind of don't want to put down yet because I don't really have space for it. I've got an extra furnace, processor, grinder. Everything. See, it's a relic restoration machine. Nah, I don't think so. I think I'm just going to put the drying rack down. And we'll leave relic restoration machines to a little bit later. I'm wondering if I should move these they're under the window because I like that. I think that looks a little bit neater. Drying rack under each window. And maybe they need to come forward a little bit. I don't know. But there's another 12 paper. So they can just slowly get worked on. I don't think there's a timer on... Uh, grand idea. It doesn't look like it. But what I probably don't want to do is to have... I think that might trigger Musa coming, so I think it might need to be done before Musa comes. So I might want to just, to be on the safe side, uh, do the gift boxes first. So let me see. So I need to make my sword and shield. I can do probably. and I need to make sure that I'm not handing in my good one then I need to make the switchboards, which 
which I can make two of so far. I just need a little bit more of the copper wire to be done and then I can get the rest of them sorted. Oh, that'll be done in 40 seconds. Okay. In the meantime, I could pick a few things up. I can also pick up another commission if I want. Ah. Let me have it. Thank you. Pet doodles as well. I can pick up doodles of poop and make it into fertilizer for my garden. Oh yeah, people have um, been saying, oh, it looks like the horse is using the barn. But the horse doesn't. If I say to return, uh, Chestnut will go back to the stable. Chestnut just really likes it in the barn. Likes getting stuck in the barn, don't you? It looks like because the fence is so close as well. Gather all the stuff. Loads of yak mal milk. Uh, you need to go back to a stable. I told you already. Okay. So if Chestnut can get to the stable, Chestnut can get in. Uh, there's a lot of people saying that it's quite nice to... Some of them will have their stable over here. I think over there isn't too bad either, to be honest. Hey, Coco! Look, Coco's in his tent. How cute is that? You're so cute, Coco. Alright, so I want to grab that iron sword and shield. I can give that in. Uh, the switchboard things are done. I'll make those so those can be handed in. And then it's the. Did I just do one out of the two? I believe I did. Yeah, one out of two at the moment of the furnaces. Let's do the other one now I've done my drying rack. I wanted to get that done first so that I could get the paper done faster. Civil furnace. Two bronze pipes required. I don't have the bronze for it. Have I been making bronze? Yes, big piles of bronze over here. Perfect. So I'll just get those going. And then we can go and hand in the other stuff and maybe take another commission actually because I've got one free. So I think I'm just going to take the, the biggest, baddest one. Which is for the Punchatron. There's also fish porridge. Which would give me some extra pen points. Which is really useful, definitely. Um, cantaloupes, I'm still waiting for some of them to be grown. Santa Cudas, I've got nine already, so I could literally hand that straight into Owen. However, Owen isn't one that I need a ton of, uh, of favour with, so... Why now does my brain come up with the word favour? I've been using social points, I've been using thingy points, I've been using uh, friendship points, I've been using f making better friends. Favour. <laughs> Suddenly this perfect word pops out of my mouth. <sighs> okay, so we're going to make the Punchatron once we've finished making the furnaces. Right, Chestnut, let's go on a little ride, shall we? Yeah, I know, you've been itching to get out. So who are we going to first, then? I don't know, let's follow some arrows and just see where we end up. Looks like we're going to Cheese Place first! Which is quite useful, because I think we need to put research on while we're here. I also need to properly set up my party. Thank you. There you go. And Chi just became my good friend. What? Awesome. I feel like an intermediate forging machine might be good, because I'm kind of thinking to myself, it might be nice. To move up to chromium gear so i'd get a chromium sword and shield maybe some chromium daggers or something just as a different weapon type and i can see what i like better um 
then I could make a chromium pick hammer as well. That might be really good. So I'm gonna go with that. It looks like I've done everything on the main stuff, but I can't like make any of it yet. So it might be the same with the intermediate forging machine, I'm not sure, but it looks like there's actually something beyond it. So maybe it won't be too hard to upgrade. I'll see, I'll see once it's done, but we've got a chef's cooking station now. So I can, up if I've got the stuff for it again, upgrade the chef's cooking station. No, the apprentice cooking station. And then there's also an advanced one. So it looks like there'll be intermediate and then advanced there. Whereas these are already all of the advanced ones. So yeah, I don't need to do anything about those, which is quite nice. Just need to now work on the actual workshop itself and uh, carrying on the story until I can get those particular mines and things that I need for those bits and bobs open. One thing I could do with it. Oh, Andy, hi. Hi, Scorpster for you. I want you to be my buddy. And that's not happening right now, is it? This is cool. And then I want to play critters with you. I'm trying not to go overboard on the critters. But at the same time, I do want to try and get to be friends with people. Ah, oh, Andy, why did you play mouse? We drew. I only want to be better friends with you, and that only happens by doing this. Oh man, why did I play mouse? What a stupid thing to play. Lost that one. Okay, try again. Can't win them all. Well, you can, but it's, you'd be really lucky if you did. Andy became your buddy, but it wasn't a big ding, 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 because poor Andy doesn't, I don't think, have anyone attached to him. What's Andy's social network look like? Oh no, like, not Vivi, not, like, oh. oh. So the only person that loved him was, like, Logan and Haru. And now he's not part of the gang anymore. Pebbles has a mum and dad and Builder. So um, we are buddies with everyone except for people we have not met yet. Everyone else is a buddy, which is wonderful. I'm really happy with that. Uh, right. So... We could do some work on getting people to be, like, better friends. But I think what I want to do instead is actually to go and start my party invitations. Let's see how the civil furnace is going, because I've got the punchatron to make now. Oh, I've still got 40 seconds. Okay, let's set up the party, and by the time that's done, I should be able to get that second civil furnish done. Okay, so after preparing for your party, you can start sending out invitation letters. You can send these up to two hours before the party starts. Party tutorial. Put the banquet table in your home, interact with it to start preparing a party. You can only use one banquet table at a time. You can only have one normal party per week, but special parties can be held as many times a week as you like. Available dates for a special party, and then unavailable dates for the party. Choose your time, theme, food, package, additional services, music, fireworks, etc. When you organise the party, you get invitations, send them out. Uh, before the day of the party, you can modify the time by two hours. So if any little quests come up that are at a particular time or something, you can modify your party. And I actually think that's a really useful thing, because the amount of times I've had things going on and it's like, well, I've got two things at three o'clock. Well, sucks to be me. You know what I mean. You can place different dishes on the banquet table. And for that reason, I'm not going to have anything at three, six or nine because they seem to be times that uh, things happen in 
Sand Rock. I'll have it in the morning, I think. Like 10 or something. I've never I've never been told go to the Blue Moon Saloon at like 10. I'm pretty sure that's the safest safish time. Um, so when the party starts, you can turn on or off the music or use fireworks by interacting with them. After the party, each participant will improve. Relationship will improve depending on their food. And the party is finished. Any leftover food will be sent to your mailbox. So obviously I want it on the 8th because that's my birthday. I wanted it at uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. I want a fancy package because, quite frankly, I really, really uh, feel I deserve it. <laughs> Birthday theme with extra fireworks and music. Make it cool. And that's 2,500. Out of how much money do I have now? 37,852. That's not too bad. And how much do I need now? Because uh, Trudy is my friend now. So this should have gone down. 96,000 is all I need. It's under 100,000 now. Which is amazing so yeah we'll we'll be getting that workshop upgrade which what is it it's at the moment it is level seven going up to level eight why do i have a feeling that it was only the level eight upgrade that i managed before or maybe even only the level seven i think it might have been the level eight though i'm hoping people will start looking at my cable bridge and like starting to give me friendship points for that. It would be amazing. Okay, so I should have now some invitations in my inventory. If I set that up correctly. Did I set that up correctly or did I do something wrong? Nope, there are, there they are, my invitations. Right, so I can start handing those out to people. I can also hopefully now hand in the furnace I'll make a start on the next one, which is the uh, the game. So basically, that is come from. Remember when Yan was? Uh, I think Mian actually was saying that Yan said uh, we can't keep making new punchatrons. You have to do them through the proper commissions now. So I'm guessing that she is steel bar, copper plate, plastic pipe. Copper plate, rubber shell. Copper plate, microchip. Copper plate, four copper plates. That wasn't even too difficult. And I think it's a quite a nice amount of money you get for it as well. Let's have a look. Let's double check. Uh, 2,800 for that. And that was like two seconds to put it together as well. Nice. Very, very nice. How are we doing for our paper? We've got a little bit more. Right, so we need five more pieces of paper and then we're done with that. We can hand that into our view. Nice. Okay, let's go and find some peeps. And invite them to my birthday and also handed commissions to them. Cooper is on the list of people I don't want at my birthday. Venti I want at my birthday though. Venti's cool and Venti I think would really appreciate it. Happy birthday! Uncle. Trudy can come to my birthday. I'll hand in my commission first though. Thank you. you like to come to my birthday as well? Thank you. She would love to come. So that's her and Venti. Um, could invite Pen. Hello. Hello. You want to come into my birthday? <laughs> Good idea, inviting a champion such as myself. If anyone threatens your longevity, I can be there to protect you. Plus, think of how cool you'll look hanging out with me in front of everyone on your birthday. <laughs> Sounds about right. We'll need Grace here to keep you in check. Wave a Duvos pepper at you. Happy birthday. 
Her gift will be not bringing any food. <laughs> Hilarious. As always. Dumpy. I think then Dumpy might want to come. Because I like Dumpy. Don't come party. Oh, your birthday party? Really? Thank you so much. Welcome. I might have themed parties of like, you know, people under a certain amount. Do you know what? I think I do need to invite hey Ryan there. if I'm going to invite Dambi. I feel like it would be mean not Happy to invite her husband. Birthday. Thank you. Not inviting Fang. Because that would just be a disaster waiting to happen. Uh, my generator has run out of fuel. So I feel like that would be a good time to go back. Uh, we've got four more invitations that I can hand out, but there's no big rush. Uh, because it's only the fifth right now. Let's go sort that out. My copper plates are done, so I could probably hand that in as well. So I always just try and use dregs as much as possible, and then if I run out of dregs, I use power stones. Keep the power stones if I can. Right then, have you guys been out today on a dispatch? No, you haven't. Go do it. Go have some fun. Go dig. Go get water. Go do stuff. Go have some fun. I need to get some more straw for my garden as well at some point. Again, not a huge, massive thing but let's see is there anything I could do that would be easy Sandakuda for Owen oh yeah it looks like I actually accepted that anyway oh I'll go me could do cast iron nails as well if it'll let me which it will for the crystal and then fish porridge and pen but we've got too many okay I'll hand in a couple and then we'll just get going I think so I handed in the one for Trudy so I've now got the one for Owen oh I think I can get into Owen's until 11 if I'm right yeah it's nice being buddies with everybody so you can get into their houses and you can see where they are on the map and all that stuff it's all pretty good it's working out after work some sandakudas for you. Sandfish is the blue moon's bread and butter. When we're running low, I couldn't tell you how much, how many angry fists I get waved at me. Unfortunately, that wasn't sandfish, but we'll forget that. Wow, Owen became my best friend. Fantastic. That was good for just a quick little mini quest that I was just like, I happened to have the stuff for. Which I love. I love when that happens, to be honest. Um, does that gaming machine need to be perfect then or something? Because I think... Oh, it does. Yeah, that's why. I was like, I'm sure I've made it, but what, why can't I hand it in? So let's go and hand that into Unsure and then I'll see if I can perfect up that ready for the morning. Oh, if I can get into Unsure... Oh, I think Unsure's house might be until 10, actually. Yeah. All right, then. Unsure will be in the morning, then, as well. Let's see who's around in the town centre that I can maybe try and give a gift to or invite to my birthday. Did I invite Justice yet? It might be a good one. I'll be in a mirror. Might be good. As long as I have 10 people there, I don't really care. <laughs> Probably not people like Heidi and Owen that I'm really easily able to invite, though. Hmm. Of course, I'll see you there now. What to bring? Should I invite Jan to my party? I'm sure see if he comes. Huh? Don't throw me a but Oh, your birthday. Seems I misheard you. Well, I'll attend and give you the best wishes on behalf of the Commerce Guild. <laughs> Hilarious. 
and we're going to play critters to make up for the fact that I couldn't give you a diamond today. I really do need to catch Yan up a little bit. If I really, really, really wanted someone to be friends with me, I'd be taking them on a play date every week as well and be doing just... Uh... It was a bad hand, that one. And sparring with them and everything. Take him to the game center. Play. I'm going to probably do some... Ah. Plus nine, okay. Yeah, you know what, Yan? Ah. Hey, date. It's a bit late, is it? Oh, okay. Okay, maybe tomorrow. I'm I'm super serious about this. About getting more. I want to get more people into the um, into the club, into the. All right. So what do I need to do? To, ah. Blip. Let me get off this horse. <laughs> Thank you. Right, so I need to go to my refiner and see what kind of gem it will be. Let's upgrade the punch tron. What? Can't I refine it? Did I leave it there? Oh, I haven't even finished it yet four copper plates. It might come off perfect then. It might be alright. Sometimes things come off the assembly thing. Oh, and it did as well. Nice. So I'll hand that one in in the morning as well. Was there anything else I needed to make before I go to bed? A uh, final gift box. Uh, hand in. Make sure I hand the right one in as well to wait for that recipe. Oh yes, the cast iron nails. I need to do those. Let those run overnight. Beautiful. And uh, I've got one invitation to hand out, so whoever I come across tomorrow who hasn't already been invited, we'll uh, do a bit of inviting. I think I'm actually going to go to bed and I'll like semi-reasonable time today. I've finished all the things I want to finish for now. Gosh! Lots and lots and lots of stuff to harvest again today. <laughs> to buy across yes it did that middle one turned to buy across now as well need more straw let's have a look this might be the train set thing um so of course oh they've got me some stuff nice two meat though i might just have to go and cut down the yak mel every time it just might have to be something i do uh, Jensen managed to get me a recipe for a model train attached. It's called the something something 777. I think Aloe's going to love it. It's his lucky number. Oh, I also thought I'd try to help you. I found some of these materials. I think you could use them, maybe. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Okay. Oh, more stuff has ripened. Okay. Let's go and have a little look at that then, shall we? Got loads of commissions to do or to hand in actually oh actually am i yeah look all of my steel nails are done with crystal so i'll do a little round of those i think and maybe invite some people to my party maybe i could invite crystal hey banjo so let's see first one will be yan who's walking a leisurely pace at 8.15. I suppose at least he's quite punctual for work. I don't know whether he was meant to start at 8. Probably. 
That's probably his start time. So let's hand that one in. You didn't embarrass me. Make sure you keep up this quality. We've got to make our commerce girl famous and my face along with it. Yes, I'm sure. 3,000 goals for that and it took me like five minutes. It's amazing. Um, okay, who is next? Unsure, I think. No, Crystal. Hey, Crystal. Would you like to come to my birthday party? Yeah, thank you so much. I don't think I've invited you, so... I'll be the last one. A celebrate a birthday's gotta be celebrated. It can be awkward getting everybody together, but trust me, you'll feel a lot worse if you do nothing at home by yourself. Eh, sorry that took a turn. See you there. Happy birthday in advance. Trudy, would you like a mountain rose just while I'm passing? Oh, thank you. You're welcome, Katori. Would you like um something expensive like an opal? Thanks. It's really nice. In fact, Yan, I should have done. I should have done more with Yan. Where's he gone? He'll be in the commerce guild by now, probably. The uh, advantage of having done this already is that I know that there's certain people that I want to get to know earlier and those that can be left till a bit later. That's all I'm gonna say, no spoilers, but it's gonna definitely sort of um, influence slightly the way I play. So, you can have a diamond. Not bad, newbie! He says that all the time, so I'm not gonna worry too much about. And then I'm actually gonna take him out on a play date and we're gonna go and just get some points on the bench we're gonna have a chat and we're gonna butter you up a little bit gonna find out a bit more about ya I, was, I always liked the tree in Porsche for this exact reason the wishing tree uh, okay, so I would like to compliment you on your appearance. Uh -huh. yeah, I suppose I could say I'm quite hip with the times or on fleece, but I believe that's what the young folk are saying these days. On fleek, not on fleece. <laughs> I love it. Um, anyway, yes, I'm very much that or whatever it is. Love him. Uh, compliments yeah. work. Ah oh, yes, flattering but true, and so it shall be till I one day retire. Till then you'll find me arduously manning my post at the guild, so that's seven already. Compliment personality. Ten points. Anyone who doesn't think I'm a kind man can go get bitten by a pan bat. And then finally I'll talk about your past. Well I suppose my career started when at a young age I became a leader in the League of uh, Association of uh, Very truthful children. Yes, that'll do. Someone just lied about their past. Anyway, if you ever need to see a chronicling of my accolades, simply poke around the Commerce Guild. I know I have a few awards lying around here and there. We can also go in his house now, because he is a good enough friend to let us in. Wanna have a poke about in Yan's house? Who wants to see in Yan's house? Don't think I've been in here this this time yet. So he's got a nice kitchen. He's got relic upon relic upon relic upon relic. He's got all the little soldiers that used to be in Porsche, but are also in this game as well. I was so excited when I saw them because I was like, it's Porsche relics. And actually, um, in very, very early access, some of the relics were slightly different in his house as well because they hadn't put all of the relics in. So they had some different ones. But this is Jan's house. Many, many relics in it. He likes to, to check things. A clock made of an ancient relic most have only heard about. This must be extremely expensive and the time's not even right. Anything else that I can click on? Yan's trusty shield looks as though extravagance was prioritized above functionality. Has likely blocked more verbal attacks than anything else. It looks like a tea tray. Of course, I haven't ended the play date with him either. I don't think, anyway. Or have I? 
Let's play critters to see if it gets him out of that loop. Um, this happened with Pen as well. I think got stuck on a play date. Oh, I'm, I'm getting a lucky run this time. already oh no draw no i should play something else darn never play cat <laughs> fox again fox again victory 13 that's good but no he's still he's still stuck in that Hang out. Oh, there we are. You tried. I know. I did quite well, I think, actually. Right, let's go find Unsure now. Uh, who is apparently down here? Unsure can be anywhere because Unsure like patrols all the time. Don't you, mate? Hello. Hmm. You want some quartz? Okay. Low quality preferred. Thank you. Thank you. Good, I needed this for stuff. Thanks. Nice. I did not want to give the high quality one in. Because that was mine. And mine only. What have we got left now then? Grand idea. Birth of blues. Model trains. Okay, so we've handed in all the commissions now. And I can take more if I want to. It's hard to get them done in one day, isn't it? What have we got today then? Uh, an express order for cast iron nails, which will give me a thousand. Canvas will give me a thousand. Chromium bars, I probably already have some. I hope I do. Fish porridge for pen. I'm going to take that. And we'll just catch a few fish. Hand that one in. And. Um, I think canvas and cast iron nails. Right, so let's start on the cast iron nails. Hopefully I can make enough, yes. And then let's do the, I think the chromium bar I already have enough, but I think I could do with making more. Just because you have enough doesn't mean that you can't make more. Although it does if you have no iron on, so. I think a little trip to the mines is in store soon. Um, luckily, the mines that we seem to need to go in mostly at the moment uh, are the ones where we've got relics to pick up, which is kind of cool. You guys are going on a dispatch today. Yeah. Oh, look at me sitting down at my banqueting table. Oh, no, apparently you've been out on one today. Oh, okay, whatever, I guess. Uh, Jensen's over there. I can hand a commission straight into him. Bangs there. Present. A gift. Could do with getting some more opals as well. So I could go out and get opals and iron ore. Maybe in the evening, actually. That was quite a nice evening thing to do, isn't it? Thank you. Do I have any others that I can hand straight in, or do I need to work on them all? Fish porridge I need to work on, canvas I will need to work on, and nails I think I've already started on. So let's uh, do the canvas. I should go and get jute every time I'm with... Uh... Mind you, this might be ready soon, you never know. Four days. <laughs> Four days. What about this one? Be ready in one day, actually. Yeah, so I'm going to have some more very soon. Um, I've forgotten how many it was. Seven and seven. Okay. So, tailoring machine, canvas, 
I can make six and I need seven, so what I'll do is I'll buy one from Vivi on the way through. Train model. We need tempered glass and one bronze plate. Okay. In fact, she said it needs to be quick. So has it got like a timer on it? No. Not at all. So bronze plates, we apparently need a few of them and I'll make one tempered glass over here. Lovely. Lovely stuff. Gift boxes. Can I make the final gift box? I think I can. I made a little bit too much paper, actually, in the end. Yeah, final gift box. So I can hand those into RVO today as well. So now I just need to go fishing for sandfish. Actually, you know, one thing I would like to do is to, if I can, upgrade my sandfish trap. That would be a good thing to do, right? Oh yeah, I can. I just need a bit of bloodstone for that. Talking about bloodstone, let's get some more of that on the ore refinery. And I go sand fishing with my perfect advanced sand fish trap. Quite nice, won't it? I'll stay away from that alpha yakmel. Might be a bit annoying if it starts on me. Okay. Looks like the sandacuda are out in force today. I wonder if I can catch three at a time with this one. worm that was super quick how dare stop being so mean stealing all my oh actually i don't think it is actually i think it's just di disappearing as the santa cruz is going for things it's kind of hilarious so i try not to wait too much when I'm doing sand fishing. I try to just be like fast with it because I've got a lot of worms now. When I didn't have many worms, it was more worthwhile to wait for things. Now I have lots of worms, so there's no need to worry. I think I've got enough. I'm going to put down a couple more bits of bait and do a couple more catches and then hopefully should have enough to make my stuff. The extra large uh, sand fish that I get out of this will go towards probably RBO or someone like that will have a uh, permission for me for a large fish at some point and it'll just take the pressure off a little bit from doing the harder commissions. I like to do a mix of harder and easier ones. By doing that as well it spreads it out because a lot of the really difficult ones that are very lucrative come from the same people all the time. So by giving by taking commissions from other people it sort of evens it out a little bit so I need to be making hopefully I have enough rice and everything for it I do so I only need seven actually fish porridge uh, the nails are coming along the canvas is coming along I can hand in the boxes to Arvio and let's see how the model train is doing. Oh, okay, yeah, I just need the tempered glass if it's done. And yeah, the bronze plates are done, nice. Tempered glass is done. 
So we'll make the train and then I can hand all of those quests, side quests in, as well as the commissions. Oh, it's a nice one as well. Cool. Look at my train model. It's so cute. Gives you 23 luck. So that might be a thing I would want to put in my workshop at some point, a little train model, so I can have some extra luck. Hey, Mian. I did all my invites, didn't I? Yes, I did. Our views offer a wonder. Oh, Miguel. I may have a gift for you. Let's see. Do I? Sometimes I do. No, not today. Not at the moment. Maybe later. Thank you so much. All right. Leave the rest to me. Nice job. Um, maybe I could actually... We could go on a date, couldn't we? We could go on a play date. Hmm. Let's go spread the light and perhaps have a bit of fun in the process. So for first play dates with people, I like to go and get to know them on the bench. And after that, I like to go to somewhere like the game centre and play whack-a-mole or something like that. So I would like to know your history. Hmm. Ever since I was a child, the words had a strong sense of morality. Things have simply evolved over time. Now instead of which of my brothers and sisters have taken how many cookies out of the cookie jar, I focus on more philosophical notions, such as why do bad things happen to good people? Mm -hmm. Appearance. Hmm. Yes, I believe there's a lot you can decipher from one's appearance. My hope is that mine reads as a devout and unwavering follower of the light. Compliment your work. Mm -hmm. I believe the light requires a stern grip at times, as opposed to the open hand most commonly associated with our organisation. And then I should compliment your personality. Hmm. Through the light I have strength, and yet I am but a vessel, a tool of the light. And I'll exit. And go in there. And hmm. hang out. You're wise beyond your years, Sheila. Perhaps even I have something to learn from you and your ways. Shall we meet again? So I can take Andy on one too. What? Oh no. Can I? Interact, play critters, photo shoot, gift. Andy, is Andy my buddy yet? I'm sure Andy is my buddy. I'm sure he is. Maybe he's not yet. Yeah, he is. Yeah, so the kids you can't do play dates with. So you have to play critters with them, I'm guessing, until all the way up to the end. Fine. Is there anybody else on this, uh... Well, we need to find Katori, don't we? Who's top of this? Justice right now. Interesting. Well, you know who's next on the playdate list then? Justice! Wherever he is. Oh, Katori's right here. Nice! Also, I could do with giving you Deputy a it. present. It's perfect! I know he'll love it! I wish I could be there to give it to him myself, but at least he'll have a gift to open so he knows his ma loves him. And it's got a little slice of your soul too. Very nice. Dep cap. I do want to keep working on you. I need to go out to the desert today as well. Right, where's Justice? I want to get just uh, right he's up at the church I want to take justice out on a date again I would like to get to know him on the bench because it's not actually the first play date but the first play date we did with justice we actually it was at the off the back of the gun thing the uh, missile the gun training and I actually ended up going to the game center and doing whack-a-mole so and it was quite good. Did a couple of games of it and it worked out quite nicely. So justice. Let's go. 
Mm-hmm. All right, partner, let's roll out. Today's mission, fun. So I will be, yeah, as I say, doing a get to know you on the bench today with Justice. And then I'll probably be spending time doing things like whack-a-mole, where you can get quite a lot of points for not too many uh, points. <laughs> You get a lot of uh, favour for not too many of the play points. To be precise, so let's ask about mm -hmm. your past. Not too much to say about my upbringing, pretty much the same as any local here. My parents were indie salvagers, so were out in the desert most of the time. I didn't settle permanently in Sandrock until my first decade, when my f ma decided I needed to go to school. And yes, we actually had a school back then. Point is, instead of studying hard, I uh, followed B3 around and here I am. Ha <laughs> ha! So I'm always saying in the comments, you know the photo of Mort, where there was someone with an eye patch? We think that was B3. We think. What to do next? Compliments. Compliment appearance. <laughs> Easy there, I'm just a man like everyone else, although perhaps slightly more heroic looking than average. Okay, compliments. Work. <laughs> ah, well you know, I can't take credit for everything. I mean, Unsure and Captain are there too. And then also compliment personality. Mm. Hey, thanks, Builder. You know, I do give it all my all and try to be somebody reliable, earnest, whatnot. Those were the traits I always admired in my superiors back in the day. And then we want to exit. And then we want to end the date. Mm -hmm. Better get going too. You have a good one, Builder. That was good. But we didn't manage to quite get him up a level, did we? So do we need to go and play Critters or give you a present or something? No, I think I'm done with play dates and things for today. Um, unless I could just give you a little present or something. What would you like as a present? I'm going to try a mountain rose. For me? Thanks. And I had a feeling that wouldn't be too great, but never mind. Uh, so what else have we got? So we're working on the fish porridge, we're working on the canvas, we're working on the... Cast iron nails. Actually, probably the commission will be what will do it. To be honest. I'm gonna head out to the desert. I'm gonna get some opals. I'm gonna head into the... Oh, just let me look and make sure there's no missions. No, so we've got done all the side missions now. Uh, so all I need to do now is just dig up the materials that I think I'm gonna need. So... Dig up a bit of graphite, maybe cut down a couple of trees, go in and get some iron. All that good you fowler stuff that I like to that I like to grab of an evening. It's nice because I've done a bit of a mixture today of missions, um, get get to know use. Play dates, things like that, and uh, and material gathering. I feel like that's a very good balance. There's always a lot to do in this. I don't know how um, like often you can do a play date. Like if you could do it once a day or whatever. So I'll be able to look. I think just on the list here. So if I went to say. Um, Miguel, you'll see that the play date is greyed out at the moment, so we'll be able to see like how often we're allowed to do that. Probably something like weekly. You could do a play date weekly and you could do a, a banquet weekly. Banquets are a bit expensive though, so they're good. They are better for late game. Definitely this sort of stage where I'm getting easily thousands off my commissions when you're getting like a couple of hundred off your commissions and it's costing like 400 or something for a party it's a little bit much also we needed to save up the game the game tokens and i'm really glad that i didn't need to do that by playing too many of the games i've tried them all like once well most of them anyway some of the newer ones i maybe haven't we've done the punchatron we've done the adventure game we've done whack-a-mole Done quite a few of them. There's my opals. I still haven't checked out. I, I do need, keep meaning to, and I keep forgetting to do it. 
checked out by the moisture farm and to see if I can build a bridge over by there and make and get to the opal. Apparently there's loads of opal over there. That's what someone said. I really do need the super shock shield, don't I, to make me lightning immune. Look, I'm busy over here, okay? I'm not taking you out. I don't have a bounty right now, so why would I do that? Looks like I, I think I might have missed slightly my chance with Unsure. Now then, usually there's enough for me to get 16 opals. How many have I got? Nine, so there's, some, there's still more somewhere. Keep looking around for them. Oh, it's these ones up here that I always miss. Look, if I don't have 16 of them, then I haven't got enough. 16 is really good because that's enough to give, obviously, 16 presents. And the more people that I get to know and get to be BFFs, which is going to start happening soon, I'm pretty sure. The, the, you know, especially with these big commissions that are giving like 40 apiece. Yeah, I may as well cut these down. And go for a bit of iron. Um, then the less people I have to, you know, slowly and surely, they're going to be less and less and less people that I have to give presents to. But the opals are pretty much universal. The only people that I've known not to like them are Andy, and I think Matilda and Miguel aren't too keen, so maybe some of the church people just aren't keen on them. But most of the people from the church seem to be keen on Mountain Roses, As to, and Trudy seems to like it all, but she's Trudy. She, she's just happy she gets a present. Same with Venti. And Venti, however, really likes gold. I'm hoping that maybe I'll get a couple of mice, uh, sorry, moles even, when I get in here. Because if I can, and I will have some gold, and I'll better give that to X and Venti, who are the most uh, the most appreciative receivers of gold. So, mm, iron ore is all I really want right now. So probably the best place to do that would actually be on level one. Buy a pass. In we go. Reason being that it only has pyrite doesn't have anything else so it's easier to just mine away with my axe no, with my pick -up. so hopefully i got a reasonable little bit of uh i i was getting I'm trying to get everything all in one go at the moment and that is a bit of a tall ask sometimes but hopefully i've got enough graphite to do a little bit i've got enough wood to do a little bit. I've got enough opal to do a little bit. Opals are great because not only are they a fantastic present, they also are needed to upgrade a lot of stuff. It's already midnight. Gonna be riding home, Chestnut. Gonna be riding home. Oh, my stamina ran out. Well, in that case, may as well go home then. That was good then. Used all my stamina up in the day. Don't usually do that. Pay attention to the water in your water tank. Yeah, I haven't checked that in a while. Probably should, shouldn't I? Past midnight. If it's yellow on the timer, you can't go on the act or stop. It is out of hours. It is antisocial hours at that point. So next time I will uh, hand the quest in for the train station. We did the boxes today and we did Katori's train for her son today. So I didn't really want to like do those and push the story forwards as well. But definitely I think next time we'll be doing that. Unless some other amazing side quest comes up. But I'm not expecting that. Um, my birthday will be next time as well. But hopefully it's at a time where it's not too sort of... 
it's not too bad. It's kind of, it's all right. Okay, so I've got the canvas. I need to buy one canvas. What other missions do we have? So, got that, got that. Got the nails. Do I need any more? It looked like I didn't have any nails. Oh, they need to be perfect nails. Right, unless this is the most common thing in the entire world needed to upgrade these. Actually, it is. It's quartz. I'm totally happy to use quartz for that. Yes, you can have your perfect iron nails, Rocky. I'm absolutely okay with that. So I'll have those in, in the morning once they're all up and about. And uh, we'll fix the train station. So that's going to be really cool. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. Hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome. <laughs>